Gary, you mentioned regulation. Stay with us because we want to turn to that key issue right now. Of course, President Trump has vowed to swiftly overhaul the country's regulators, while Harris is likely to continue Biden's crackdown across a number of sectors. For more on what to expect, let's bring in someone you know very well. Jay Clayton, he ran the SEC under former President Trump from 2017 to 2020, also a CNBC contributor and independent chair of Apollo Global Management. Good evening. Welcome, Jay. It's good to have you. Nice to be here. Thank how, you. How big of a gulf do you see, a gap between Harris and Trump on the regulatory agenda? Well, Gary did a great job explaining that a lot of changes would have to go through Congress. The regulatory agenda is not one of them. The regulatory agenda is probably where there is the biggest difference. Because of executive orders? Because, um, there's, there's two channels for, for the regulatory agenda. One, one is executive orders. The other is the regulatory agencies themselves. In both of those, I think you will see a stark contrast, or you would see a stark contrast between the second Trump administration and what I will call a second um, Biden-Harris administration. You're, you're going to see, I do not expect a Harris administration to depart very significantly from the regulation and the regulatory approach that we have seen during the Biden administration. Which you would characterize as? Uh, hyperactive. <laughs> right. And, 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 actually, and, and actually, as the courts have found in many cases, beyond the law. But has it hurt the economy? I mean, we're, we're looking at an economy that has been pretty good, 4.1 percent unemployment rate, a stock market at record high. I, I think if you, uh, if you ask CEOs, as you were just talking about, do they think that it has impeded what I would say is um, growth-enhancing measures, whether they're mergers, which is the thing we talk about the most, or, or other measures? Um, they would say yes. They would say yes that they're hampered. There's, there are industries. Let's take the banking industry. Everyone agrees the banking industry needs consolidation. Now, we love our small and medium-sized banks. We don't need 4,000 of them. We probably need 2,000 of them. We need them to service those communities, but there's a lot of efficiencies to be had from banks consolidating. How much of an impact do you think it has on the economy, the regulatory agenda? I, I think I agree completely with Jay. I think it's enormous. This is one place where personnel is policy. And one of the jobs of the president is to appoint personnel in the regulatory world and those regulators. And we see it. We see it right now in the Biden-Harris agenda. We see what some of those individual regulators are doing or trying to do. I think Jay characterized it as trying to do because I think they've lost almost every court challenge they've had. But they are trying to put their personal views on very stringent very tight regulatory. The FTC, you mean? Uh, FTC. They, they would argue with that. They've yeah. won some. Okay. Well, they've, they've lost well, most what, of it. What does an FTC look like, Jay, under, under Harris versus Trump? Is there really that much of a difference? We've heard J.D. Vance, his running mate before, praise Lena Khan, the head of the FTC. Look, I think that both, both a Harris and a Trump administration do agree that you should have an eye on jobs in America as part of regulatory policy. I think that there's a narrow slice where that overlaps. One thing she has said that Biden never said was raising this notion of appointing a Republican to her cabinet, for example. Directionally, do you think there'd be no, no move to the center on regulation than what Biden has given us so far? I, I, look, in my lifetime, no second-term president has moved to the middle. Second-term president? I consider That's Harris to be a second-term second term term president. president. I do. I mean, she's been there the whole time. She has said, I'm not going to change anything. I, 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 do not, I do not expect significant change, including, including because the regulators that get approved, get confirmed by the Senate, would have to hew to the progressive side of the Democratic Party. And, and I agree with Gary. On, on a lot of other economic issues, you can find common ground. Regulatory approach is not one of them.